This is Robbie McKenzie uh, from the Main Street Church of Christ. This is Youth Ministry 6.3 from Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 3, which says, I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. I've got with me former youth group member extraordinaire uh, Seth Miles King, graduate uh, of the one and only Lipscomb University. Uh, he actually truth be told, won the BC Good Pasture Preaching Award, um, and so I'm sure he didn't want me to mention that, but anyway, uh, very awesome guy, and I, and I know you'll get a lot. We're talking about college stuff, and it's always uh, been a burden for me uh, how to, you know, it seems like from my own perspective, you know, you just kind of, you're so concerned, or at least I was so concerned about the, the, the high school students, and then they get to college, and I'm just like, okay, I'm done. And uh, and, and a lot of youth ministers I know uh, felt that way. And so I, I think from his perspective, Seth's perspective, I think it's going to be good just to, to, to get some insight on on what we as youth ministers can do uh, better at, at how to um, how to you know help our, our students transition to college better. And so a couple questions I wanted to ask him, and I'll let him go ahead with a well, the first one, uh, Seth, and just speak as long as you want to. Uh, just how, what can can we as as youth ministers do better to help in the transition from from high school to college? And so, go ahead and answer however you want to. Um. Well, first, I, I guess um, to talk about that transition. It, it, it's a tough transition. Um, I mean, and most youth, most youth ministers have experienced that transition. But uh, it's it's a period of life where you've left everything that you've known for 18 years. You know, even even you know, I, only, I went to Lipscomb, which was 30, 40 minutes away. Um, I, but I still, I, I left home. Um, I left the church that that I grew up in, and so um, I, I went to Lipscomb, and and I didn't, I, I did not know one person there. And so the first day I stepped on campus, I had, I had zero friends um, at Lipscomb. I, I didn't have a church family. And so it, it, was, it was a time of transition. For some people, um, that's easier because they, they go to uh, a college where they have a bunch of friends, where um, maybe they're plugged into a, to a church that they've been visiting to or vi visiting with off and on for a couple of years. So it may be easier for some people, but for me, it was tough. Um, just because I, I didn't know anybody, I didn't, I wasn't plugged in anywhere. So I think just being aware of how difficult that transition can be. Um, sure. I mean, I, I, you know, in in high school, I, I was um, involved in a lot of stuff, had, had a lot of friends, and so it, it could be easy for for someone to assume that oh, he'll go to college and it'll be fine. <laughs> but and, and I ended up yeah, college was great and I loved it. But, <laughs> couple of months it's still it's still tough just to, to transition and, and to, to make friends um, to I don't know replace those friends that you had in high school for so long um, so so being aware of how tough that transition is um, but um, as, as far, far as like detailed stuff what can youth ministers do um, college kids love food so, so <laughs> care packages um, care packages are great, which most churches are pretty good about sending care packages. But d don't let it stop there. You know? Sure. Care packages are great, but I think what what's really going to help is checking in on them every once in a while, um, sending Facebook messages, sending emails, um, sending text, calling every once in a while. And uh, you know, for me, it worked out that you were going through the MDiv at the same time I was <laughs> in my undergrad, so right. we had the same teachers. <laughs> Masters, and yeah. we could talk about that, and you were up there for lunch, so that worked out well. Um, stuff that I've heard of other churches doing, um, uh, the church that I worked with in Memphis for a couple of um, summers, when a kid moves off to college, they're paired with uh, an older member in the congregation um, as a mentor, and so um, usually it's somebody in their 40s or 50s um, that I, I think their duty is to call them maybe once a week just to see how classes are going. You know, you're not trying to impart any great spiritual wisdom. You're just maintaining that connection um, with that home church that has existed for um, 18 years or so. So I, I think pairing them up with mentors is, is a really neat idea. Um, and then uh, another thing that, that 
can be difficult is getting plugged in with a church um, wherever you go. Um, you know, for me, I went to Nashville, so I n- already knew most of the churches in Nashville. Um, but for people that are going to go four or five hours away, um, they may not know a single person in that city or a single church. And so if the, if the youth minister is aware of that, then they might be able to, to do some, some or make some phone calls um, and maybe, you know, tell a church or two, hey, I've got a kid moving into town and I would, I would love for somebody to reach out to them oh. and then see, you know, uh, see if that church maybe will have somebody invite them over for dinner and just get to know them. Um, so helping them transition into a, to a church home, I think, is important. I, I might even say critical uh, sure. because college seems to be a phase when you, uh, I, I mean, I'm only 22, but looking back, college was kind of the formative phase of my faith. Um, it, it's kind of that moment where you either decide, you know, this is it, I'm, I'm putting all I have uh, on on Jesus, or you walk away from it. Sure, sure. So if, if you can facilitate the, the transition, um, you know, you don't have to be there holding their hand and answering every question. But <laughs> if, you, if you can set set up set them up to succeed um and plug in with the church then i think that transformation of faith will will grow more because i mean it's easy to get to college and to um you've you've gone to church every sunday for 18 years and that first sunday you're like i can hit the snooze button and go back (laughs) to sleep and donnie and kara aren't gonna check (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> now that, that that's a great temptation so sure if you can help them you know transition then it that, that's a good thing that's a good thing. yeah that's super i mean that's and something i, I heard uh, of uh, you mentioned a couple times at least once uh, but but the idea of transformational uh stuff and and that's to me that's that's huge because it's more and you said plugged in as well it's more than just I mean, attending services, you know, yeah. it's because we're, 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 we think, or at least, you know, I think, well, at least, you know, Johnny and, and little Susie, if, if they're going to church while they're at college, things are going well. Uh, when that whole terminology going to church is just, you know, not really the greatest to start with. It's, it's yeah. you know, can you go to a place, not only that, but can you be church uh, at, at a place and, and effectively do God's mission there. Um, that's that's so huge. And so the idea of does it, it you know it's not just a place to, to to kind of fill the whole service void, but it's a place where that that you can go above and beyond the the context that you left. So so yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, that's 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 difficult. Uh, another question that I have for you, um, and, and you kind of hinted at a little bit uh, already, but but just just the idea of uh, what can youth ministers do, uh, you know, the ongoing uh, process of, of, of college? So not only, so we, we've talked about transition and transition's key, um, but, but say, you know, you're a, you're, a, you're a fourth year guy or you're a fifth year senior or whatever, you know, what, what, what can a youth minister do to, to keep that relationship, to keep things going uh, that, that'll be effective for college students? Um, good question. Um, well, I, I would say that, you know, when, when, when a student is in the youth group, there's, um, the relationship is more authority figure and student. Sure. And, and as, as that student goes through the college process, um, slowly, um, but, but surely they're, they're going to become more uh, of an equal and it, it becomes less of an authority structure but and more of maybe a mentorship sure uh, where you know i'm not you know I, I may come to you for for advice you know I, I have a question about this um this is going on in my life and it, it so i think the relationship changes a little bit so being being aware of that can help maintain that because you, you don't want to treat a 22 year old that's in his last semester of college the same that you did when he was a junior in high school. That's a good point. Because, because they're not the same person. Right. They've changed probably tremendously in five or six years. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Um, 
just last, and this is just right off the frontal lobe of my brain here, so so I, I'm just, this is probably dangerous, but uh, if, if, say I were to ask you, or I will ask you, um, what are some things that a youth minister should not do while you're at college or, or while a student's at college? And, and, and I'll just... Um, I'll just give you a, give you an example here. Uh, can you can you repeat that? You broke yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Say uh, say, uh, you know, 